other fragrances out there that are no longer available that you might want to get your nose on well I got one today that is just that so if you want to hear about it you know what to do welcome back NYC fragrance family to another video yes aren't I so excited eh, you know Mr. Calm, Cool and Collected, at least that's what some people call it. New York Attitude. Eh, who knows? NYC is a thing, right? So anyway, talking to you about a fragrance that is vaulted. You can't get your hands on it. Or you could, if you want to pay a ridiculous price on eBay for it, maybe get a decan if you're lucky somewhere. But as far as full bottle from retail or an online retailer or anything like that, Good luck. Fragrance I'm talking about was the original Creed Green Valley. Green Valley is a fragrance that some people feel that's what Green Irish Tweed should smell like. I don't know what that is all about, but I've heard that said. The original Green Valley had bergamot, mandarin orange, ginger, black currant, musk, and ambergris. And as you know, Creed does ambergris like nobody else. So. It's a vaulted fragrance. If you want the fragrance, like I said, good luck getting it. But the people over at Duo Fragrances do make their version of this vaulted fragrance. And that one is called Verd Instinct. Now this one, I have nothing to compare it to because I don't know or I've never gotten a chance to smell the original. But what I do get here is what the notes say they are. I get that nice citrus opening. I get a nice ginger in the middle. I get a nice muskiness and I do get that nice ambergris. And how they distribute their fragrance? Well, that one actually worked pretty good. The one downside I've had with do is I actually had a atomizer that broke on me. Being a frag head that I am, I have, an, I have another decant that I was able to take the juice from one bottle and put it in there. So I was able to salvage it. It still doesn't stop me from wanting to have the fragrance or the stuff like that. You know, I deal with issues with quality on some bottles and things here and there. But it's part of what we do, right? All in all, solid, solid, solid spring and summer fragrance. If you like these notes, you like bergamot, you like mandarin orange, you like ginger, because there are people that are ginger freaks. Black currant, of course, is something that gravitate people gravitate to and enjoy. And then you have your musky ambergris dry down, which is synonymous with most of the Creed DNA. Then this is definitely a fragrance for you. You know, you you go out and spend $55 on this bottle. Or you try to get it on eBay for like $400, $500, $600 and to get the original. Is that worth it for a guy like me that has a pretty decent sized collection? Going out and spending that kind of money just to have a vaulted fragrance just didn't make sense. And this is one of the reasons why and one of the types of fragrances that I'll buy from let's say Duo. Because it's no longer out there. And if they're recreating a discontinued fragrance and brands that do recreate discontinued fragrances that either were holy grail or were very popular or very good fragrances then it pays to go out and get it or at least give it a try you know there's a couple of companies that do things like this do it being one of them and i do appreciate the quality of the juice and the longevity that you get from these fragrances and that's why i buy them and i bring that value to you I know there's a lot of people that are not fans of houses like this. I happen to be in the mindset of I don't discriminate when it comes to fragrances. I own a lot of the originals. I own a lot of inspired ones. I own a lot of cheap ones. But I'm not going to stop buying fragrances because someone doesn't like the fact that, oh, it's a clone. Well, it's my money. And I'm going to spend it the way I want. And as long as I get to smell the way I like to smell, that's what's important to me. You know, 
somebody pouring their soul and heart into the fragrance and the artistry that goes into that, I totally appreciate that. I totally get that. I've spoken to a lot of these people. I totally understand how that works. But there's reasons why fragrances get vaulted. Maybe a shortage, a shortage in an ingredient. It may not be selling very well. So the fact that you're not selling well and you have a fragrance that I like that I can no longer get, should I not go out and get a fragrance that emulates that? What if I were to create my own fragrances? If there was a fragrance that was discontinued that I liked that you can no longer get and I recreated it, would that be an issue? Let me hear what you got to say in the comments. I'm curious because this is a hot topic right now in the fragrance community. And I'd like to know what you, the NYC fragrance people, family, think about it. So remember, like, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. Comment like I just told you. And remember, NYC fragrance family, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day.